Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Um, let's see. Someone was, uh, okay, Razor JB says, another North Carolina native. Uh, need an all North Carolina chat soon. We got to figure that out. Um, yeah. There's a lot yeah, of dudes lot in North Carolina. Yeah, a lot of us, uh, Twang and Bang, yeah. Brandon Herrera, blowing up lately. Yeah, you, uh, um, sure there's others. Yeah, you North Carolina guys probably have the gun thing locked down. That's probably the biggest. There's a there's a ton of them. You know, there is a lot yeah. of us. Yeah, for sure. X Ring is your six covered. Who else? Coda Boy Thirty Two. Coda here. Boy. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of people. Yeah. By the way, I saw that um, Coda Boy and a bunch of guys got demonetized. Yep. What um, just a little quick uh, switch over here since we have you, Mike? What do you think about all of that? You and I, we run YouTube channels. We're kind of like dealing with this all the time. What's your take on that? Yeah. So first, for people who don't know, there's sort of like two levels of demonetization, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So mm -hmm. there's like normal demonetization, which I think pretty much every gun channel has, mm -hmm. um, where the majority of ads, especially normal paying ads, don't run your videos. So instead of making, you know. Uh, just this is a total hypothetical, but instead of making a hundred dollars on a hundred thousand views, you end up making three. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the normal like demonetization that everyone has, and there's really no getting around it. Mm -hmm. And then there's um, the what's going on with guys like Coda Boy and uh, Honest Outlaw, um, where they have literally removed them from the entire program, mm -hmm. and they get zero across the board, even though they're getting millions of views. Same with Guns and Gadgets, had the same thing yeah. happen. Um, very likely. So there's two things, two things about this. So since the demonetization process has started, from what I know, and I don't know everything, but from what I know, no one who has been in a partner network has been demonetized. So there's one thing, right? Um, and we can get into partner networks if people want. Mm -hmm. um, but um, so no one has been in a network has been demonetized. And everyone that I've seen that's been actually demonetized, like full demonetization, has actually been violating YouTube's policies by posting links. Uh, to websites that sell guns, ammo, and accessories outside of Amazon and eBay because those are except exempted um, in YouTube's policies. So uh, when that oh, so you can post that, links from from anything that's on that's on Amazon, right? And eBay. Okay, mm -hmm. and eBay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're specifically. And they exempted. have their own. They have their own guidelines, so you can't put you can't sell anything right. on Amazon or eBay that's anyway. True. Yeah. Right. right, right. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So so those guys. They really don't have a case uh, to fight it, mm -hmm. um, not in the near term, mm -hmm. if they were doing that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, there's huge gun channels. I mean, um, mm -hmm. it, just look through the guys you subscribe to that mm -hmm. do it as well. They put links to all kinds of websites that, mm -hmm. that are violating their policies. So I'm not sure why these guys are getting targeted, mm -hmm. per se. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're being targeted and you are actually blatantly violating the policy, it's kind of... Yeah. One of the things I notice as well, and this is just for me, right? And, and, and you probably would be a really good person to speak on this. Um, so they've been going through and hitting us with a lot of the yellow coins on videos. And they keep going back. So even if they review a video and they're like, hey, it's okay, you know, they may come back a couple of weeks later, a day later, you know, months later and hit you again. And so what I've been doing is every time they, which it's like demonetizing that video for sure, right? And therefore suppressing that video, I yep. decided to remove any of those videos. So you uh, you could fight it and they may look at it and go, okay, we'll take that off. Or they're like, no, this is confirmed. You know, we're not going to monetize this thing. I've been removing them because I kind of had this theory that if you let it build up, that they're going to look at you and say, hey, we're looking at the percentage of videos that we've demonetized on your channel, and we don't think that it's viable for you to be in the partner program anymore. Well, when I saw what uh, Cotto Boy was, like his email that he got, that's pretty much what they were saying in there. So do you yeah. think there's any merit to that? Um, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's it's a constantly changing environment. It's certainly possible. Uh, I don't do that, mm -hmm. however... I do not monetize a lot of videos mm -hmm. like it. For instance, I'm sure you got it. Hang well, maybe you didn't actually. Mm -hmm. um, but so I got an email from my network, which I'm in BBTV, broadband okay. TV. And uh, so the network kind of is like a union, if you will. Yeah, for, I'm in, uh, in BBTV as well. Okay, yeah. So I got an email from them mm -hmm. 
and uh, yesterday, and basically it came out with all of YouTube's new coronavirus stuff, mm -hmm. and like basically like everything that says coronavirus is getting demonetized automatically, mm -hmm. and like their re their review team now is working remotely and mm -hmm. dedicating less hours, so don't count on it getting reviewed. Yeah, basically that, that is a summary of it. Yeah, not exactly right. basically they're but saying so, you're yeah. they're leaving us to the bots. <laughs> right. Yeah. And so and so like when I do a video tonight coronavirus in the gun industry i'm literally just not going to monetize makes sense yeah. but they're going to run ads on it anyway mm -hmm. they'll make their money but i realize if if i monetize it less people will see it yeah and so that's just how it is this is the unfortunate reality i know i don't know if people think that we're like you know we're making this up or whatever it is um and youtube has policies that we can't actually show you guys the behind the scenes of uh, I don't know if it's all the stats, but I know definitely they don't want you showing people like what money you're actually making and all that kind of stuff. But it's pretty it's pretty horrible back there. And people may think, well, that doesn't matter. I think there's folks out here like uh, Mr. Guns and Gear that are professionally, consistently giving you content. You know, it might help to support folks like him. Um, you know, if you want to, you could put me in that category. I'm doing this all the time, but there's, and there's lots of us it, and we, you know, this isn't something that we would do this consistently if we weren't able to also take care of our families and pay, pay the bills and things like that. All right. For sure. Yeah. All right. So, um, go ahead, go ahead, Roy. No, I was going to say, uh, mm -hmm. and, and related to that, and this is just a personal observation of mine. You said they're leaving us to the bots. Mm -hmm. There's also a, a similar statement that. about mm -hmm. Facebook doing yeah. the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in my personal Facebook feed, I'm seeing lots of people, uh, and maybe people who, who, in my opinion, didn't necessarily think that, that social media censoring was a big deal, mm -hmm. who are absolutely infuriated that Facebook took down their posts of the Washington Post article that they shared mm -hmm. because so, the bot saw the word coronavirus in it and right. shut it down. So I think maybe this is another maybe unintended. I'm not saying the coronavirus is intended, but another unforeseen consequence, not unintended. Well, also if you post political stuff, they're, they're taking yeah. it down also or they're flagging it. Yeah, because the bots are doing it because all the Facebook employees are are, are at home and, and not working in in the office. And uh, I, a lot of folks, I think, are getting their wake up call on social media censoring during this time as well. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, a lot of my posts right now in the last, like, three days, like, if you go to my Facebook page, I'll, what I've had to do because of this bot thing is I can't just, it depends. And it seems like random, but, like, if I post a link to Brownell's ammo, right, it won't post. Mm -hmm. So, or it'll get deleted immediately. But if I post a picture of the ammo and then a, like a bitly or like a shortened Mr. Guns and Gear mm -hmm. link, then it'll post. Mm. So like, that's what I've had to do the last two days, almost constantly. Just, I just have to convert links to my website short link. Mm -hmm. And then that's the only way they'll let it post. And even then they're taking it down. Like they took down, uh, I had like Fioki ammunition two, two, three for 30 cents around yesterday. And it got shared, like it got shared like 1800 times or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then you got flagged they, probably. And they got flagged because they said it was spam. Mm -hmm. That's what they said mm -hmm. because people were sharing it so much. Right. Yeah. It's like, what? This is, um, <laughs> so I had, I, are you guys familiar with arms list? Yeah. 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 So I had Jonathan, the owner of arms list, who's also a lawyer, by the way, on the show. Yep. And he was talking about a lot of this stuff. Arms list is definitely, um, I don't know how he's on a, he's on their shit list or whatever whatever you want to categorize it as and i saw it for myself uh facebook and instagram which obviously facebook owns instagram you cannot send like in uh messenger on facebook you can't send someone a message and and put a link for arms list and right. on um ig you can't like uh i made a post someone asked something and i try to respond and say you know this is what happened to at arms list it would not let me post that thing until i removed mm. until i removed that and he's been saying that this is happening to him for some time and he's taken things pretty much i don't want to say all the way to the supreme court i think his case came up to the supreme court and they said hey this has already been settled this guy has right. immunity and and so i think since that happened they were like yeah tag this guy and and start shutting him down but they don't want to remove him so this is a new tactic you know because he's because he's covered they don't want to remove him so they ghost him or i don't know what the the word for that is guns and gear yep. 
Yeah. No, I mean, I don't know the word either, but that's exactly yeah. what's happening. The shadow ban or whatever yeah. you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah. So there's lots of... They, just, they limit your ability to be productive. Right. right? At the end of the day, or, or to reach people. Yeah. And they're making like, us... Like, oh, you're getting, you're getting too many shares? Yeah. Delete. Yeah. And then you have to work harder. I think there's lots of right. guys out there that normally would be bigger. They would be growing, including you, including you, Mike. You know, I think that with as long as you've been doing this and the amount of stuff that you do and the 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 uh, i mean i know a lot of people that are like no matter what they do to you they're looking for the stuff that you're sharing right yep so yep. i think a lot of this is just is just throwing roadblocks in our way to just make it more difficult maybe discourage us you know i've had youtube tell me you know it'll be so much better if you just did 80% anything else and 20% guns, just 20%. That's it. That's all you... <laughs> you know, what's funny is I have a YouTube rep and mm -hmm. she is a probably, she's probably 30. Mm -hmm. She's a, a Asian girl from San Francisco. And she's never touched a gun. Like I've had these conversations with her mm -hmm. and she, she's always like, yeah, you know, there's some words that you probably shouldn't use. And I'm like, <laughs> like what? And she's like, like firearm, and I'm like, that's what I do. And she's like, yeah, but it's not the best word for YouTube. And I'm like, <laughs> she's like, she's she's real nice about it, yeah. but I'm just like, God. Yeah. At least, at least I don't say it's a lovely little YouTube channel you got there. It'd be a shame if something would have happened. To you. Yeah, no, she's yeah. not like that. She's very professional. No, most of the just, when, it's just funny. Yeah, when you deal with the it. when you deal with the YouTube people, most of them are nice. I I 100 percent agree yeah, with yeah. you, Mike. I think that it's just a weird situation. It's like when I was talking to them about the whole policy that we can't hold guns now when we're live, right. you know, right. um, the things that they were telling me and they were act like in my conversation I had with them was about four lawyers on the phone with me. Right. right. And, you know, there was there was a lawyer there that she was like, oh, me and my husband, we're gun people. And I was like, there's no way you guys are gun people. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> you know, you can't be gun people. And then you're here telling me that. I can't hold a gun while I'm live because you think that's going to stop something. And then you're going to have people watching me to see what I do. I, matter of fact, I got one of the videos deleted because uh, Walter picked up a stock, a wooden stock. There was no barrel in it, nothing. And they were like, yep, you picked up a gun, deleted the video. We had to fight over and over again until they finally conceded to me that, oh, we thought we saw a barrel there, but there isn't one. You know, and they gave it back to us. It's so insane that this is what, look, I'll show you guys right now. This is the only thing I have here in the studio. I was showing this to Roy. Toy guns. By the way, YouTube overlords watching me, these are toy guns. Do you see those little orange plastic? That, that's pop, Hank. That's pop. Yeah. <laughs> it has a very realistic, uh, you know, shell casing. <laughs> Guns again is like, oh my God, what what has happened to me? <laughs> you know, know. this is what we're reduced to. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. But, you know, it's funny because that, that's literally why the RPK is behind me and I'm not touching it. Yeah, exactly. If I touched it, I know the video would get deleted. Yeah, it's 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 so insane what's, uh, what's going on there. But it's the way of life. It's the, you know, I, I'm not intending on giving up. I don't think you guys are either, right? The brave nah. new world. Yeah. They're going to have to kick me out, and I'll still be somewhere if i got to send up smoke signals. <laughs> you know what's weird, it just as on this rant, mm -hmm. but, uh, like, probably, if you had to say, like, what's the social media platform that's used by, like, leftists the most, right? Mm -hmm. I would think it would be Twitter, mm -hmm. right? All the leftists are on there. Mm -hmm. And I've never been censored on Twitter. Yeah. I post everything on Twitter. It's interesting. Yeah. Happened. I think Twitter, Twitter is pretty... Um, it's interesting what's going on now. Recently, didn't a conservative guy buy majority interest in Twitter? I don't know. I read, a, yeah. read something about that. Yeah. I don't remember the details. Yeah, I don't know if that's affecting anything yet. Yeah. But I mean, I've, I've never had an issue on Twitter. Yeah. I don't grow because, again, my viewers really aren't there. Yeah. But, but I mean, I post anything. Yeah. I mean, they don't care. You think we, we? You think we'd be big on Twitter just because Trump's on there? What's Trump got? Like thirty, forty million? But like, like you said, a lot of them are liberal people screaming at him. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> like if you do a heat map for Twitter, it's actually really interesting. It's mm. like it's like all the cities, but it's really focused on D.C., L.A., and uh, New York. Mm. Like it's like sixty something percent of the people using it. Yeah, there. it switches around. I remember when my kids were in high school, they were using Twitter a lot, and I was like, "Why are you guys using Twitter?" I was like, "Because because nobody's on there, so we don't want to be mm -hmm. on Facebook because all the old people came over to Facebook." Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. <laughs> but I think they've moved on from that. I think, what are the young people using? Like TikTok nowadays? TikTok. Yep. Yeah. A lot of TikTok. Yeah. Um, well, what's, what's the video game streaming one? Twitch. 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 Yeah. Oh, Twitch. Yeah. It's always, we're, the internet's never going away. We just got to figure all of this stuff out somehow. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.